911, what is your emergency? Someone was hunting my classmates. Martin, come in, come with high school. Shut up. It's shut up. Everyone on the floor! On the floor! My whole future was wiped up. As every day passes, it feels like I'm farther away from him. I want people to understand what I witnessed that day. So Joaquin didn't die for nothing. I've never cried like that in my life. Going back to normal is not possible. Make sure that no kid never has to see what I have to see. We're still not safe. We're not safe. We just want anything that'll make our country safer, you know? Never again! Never again! We're kind of the activists of this movement that's growing. Me and Dylan rushed over there and met up with Joaquin's family, and we waited. We were there for hours and just like waiting, praying, and like it was just, it was a lot seeing all the people who were crying. I was like, it's not going to be us. He's okay. He's somewhere. All I kept thinking in my head was. Please be safe, please be safe, over and over. And what are the 17 lives lost? Joaquin Oliver. I've never cried like that in my life. Yeah, it was really hard. I thought it was all a dream. I woke up the next day thinking, I wanted to like text them or something and I just couldn't. It was kind of like my whole future was just like wiped out. We just like clicked right away. Like kind of corny, like love at first sight, but I swear, <laughs> I swear. Joaquin showed up and um, he sat in front of me. I just remember being so nervous. To be so close to him, touching his face, I was like, oh my god. And I just remember, like, melting immediately because anyone who sees that video sees the way he looked at me. It was, like, <laughs> unreal, you know? Um, I feel him, like, laughing when I laugh. I feel like he's like living through me in a way. Like that's how close we are, I, I feel it. The connection is still there, you know. I feel him all the time. I knew him since he first moved to uh, Florida. Because we went to the same preschool together. It was somebody I, I talked to every day about everything. He's always been like the light in the room. He was so comfortable in his own skin, he was he was just glowing all the time, and everyone wanted to be just like him, you know? We loved like there was no tomorrow until there was no tomorrow. And I'll always be thankful for that. Style weapons like an AR-15. Yeah, it's uh, it's a head scratcher where we are. So uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a debate. I, I've always uh, defended people's right to defend themselves. Uh, I haven't got specifics. We want common sense gun laws. We want privatized selling to be completely reformed. So you can't just walk into a building with hundred and thirty dollars and walk out with an AR-15. Today marks the one month anniversary of when the shooting happened. So we're gonna have 17 minutes of silence at the football field of my high school. I wanna make sure that no kid my age ever has to see what I have to see. What time is the walkout? It starts at 10. 
Students across the country, around the world, walking out of their schools this morning. Protests are beginning. Hundreds of thousands of students are calling for gun control. Kids at over 3,000 schools are involved. I don't really know what's going on, so we're just going to wing it, I guess. <laughs> I'm here for every other kid and their safety. And you can watch them turn their pain into activism in the documentary For Our Lives, Parkland, which will air on Freeform on Monday night, 10, 9 central. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.